Jose Dante. He's called Harry Dummy, he's a welterweight, and he's about to defend his title here in Birmingham on Monday night. So, has the Punjabi stallion got the eye of the tiger? Here's the report. <laughs> his way to the top of British boxing. Earlier this year, he beat all the odds to become undisputed British welterweight champion. When I picked that belt up, because like, I was the underdog and uh, no one basically gave me a chance, when I lifted that belt up, it was just uh, a load of emotions, you know, all filled in the way. It's just one big relief that I've actually gone and done it and proved so many people wrong. <laughs> the road to becoming the first British Asian boxing champion has been a hard one. For four years, he held down a full-time job while defeating professional opponents, waiting for a shot at the title. But his passion for boxing had been sparked by the greatest of them all. Look for me, I'm on the left eye round three. Oh, Jack, the player hasn't opened up. Me and my dad used to sit up and watch all the army fights. I used to come on the way, I used to come in, the, the aura around him, you know, how TV portrayed him. He'd come across as a like a god. Just inspired, you know, the skills, the confidence that used to come out of him. The Asian army, as he's known, is trained by Brian Hill and Roy Kluwer, who have 70 years' experience between them. If in doubt, he jabs out. If you can't hit him, you can't hurt him. And he's a bit hard to hit. He's a tall guy, plenty of him, but he's a bit hard to hit as well. I think he's good enough to come on champ. prowess runs in the family, at least according to Harry's dad. I've always felt it was my destiny, you know? You always have to have that hunger and desire to succeed. It's just getting your mind focused, you know, and what you really want. No one's going to give it to you. You have to go out and get it. When I'm training, I basically do push myself to the limit. So it's, 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 it's pushing myself to where my body's screaming, you know, where my body just doesn't want to do it. Further. Harry sees his title defence against up-and-coming welterweight Spencer McCracken as a step towards the ultimate prize. Well, I'm looking forward to the fight on October the 9th with Spencer McCracken because I've trained well and I will win the fight. I know I haven't finished it. I mean, I'm going to peak on the day I win the world title. That's what I'm going to do.